and it is officially spring at Target. We're gonna be looking at a bunch of new spring decor. So, so pretty. I love the oil rub bronze color. Threshold furniture, Studio McGee furniture. There's a bunch of amazing new outdoor pillows. Studio McGee has this new faux oak tree. Hello everyone, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando. I make all shop with me and DIY home decorating videos. And it is officially spring at Target. We're gonna be looking at a bunch of new spring decor in the outdoor spring shop at the back of the seasonal section. I am so excited to be taking a look at all of this. It's new Studio McGee, Opal House by Jungle, Threshold, Smith & Hawken, all of the brands that you know and love for outdoor decor at Target. We're gonna be looking at like rugs, outdoor pillows, furniture, planters, all of the things to get you ready for the spring of 2023. I know that it is really, really cold and blizzarding and just icky where a lot of you guys live, so hopefully this will give you a little bit of serotonin. Target is moving on to spring, and I am just following their lead. If you're excited to see all this new stuff, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. Every single Tuesday on my channel is Target Tuesday. I shop all around the store to show you what is new, so if you love knowing what's new at Target, if you're a Target lover like me, definitely be sure you hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's head inside. All right, we've made it to the back of the store. That is where the outdoor shop is going to be. It's going to be where the Christmas shop was, so it's just moved straight from Christmas into the spring outdoor shop. I'm really excited to show you the new threshold furniture, Studio McGee furniture. There's so much awesome stuff. There's Opal House by Jungle, so let's get into all of it. We have the spring 2023 outdoor shop. Seeing this stuff is when you know it is spring at Target. It looks like there's a bunch of amazing new outdoor pillows. Keep in mind, these can be used indoor or outdoor. You don't have to use them outside. If you want to use them inside, honestly you're probably better off because they are so extremely durable and they always have removable covers outdoor pillows I feel like always do so that way you can kind of rewash them and keep them super fresh so I kind of wanted to show you a bunch of these the first one is by Studio McGee this is the Studio McGee striped green pillow this is $25 again it feels like a pillow like that you could use or you would find over in the home decor section for indoor use so definitely don't feel like just because these are over here you have to use them outside because you totally don't next up is this outdoor pillow it is uv treated for like fade resistance but like i said do whatever you want with it this is 30 dollars. i love all the different colors and textures a nice mix of like warm tones and cool tones on this one i'm really enjoying this lumbar pillow i like the big tassels on the side and i like the striping this is another studio mcgee pillow this one is nice it's really like densely packed as well Look at this one. It has like the big gingham and this is in like a, it's, it looks like a navy grayish type color with some striped gingham pattern. That one is $35. This one's definitely like a bigger Euro sham pillow size. This is that like sagey dusty blue again. This is more of like a light blue compared to that. This one looks more like the one they have over in the Studio McGee section. I really like the striping, how it's like cream, and then it has like darker blue stripes and lighter blue stripes. This one is so, so nice. There is this really small gingham pillow. Well, not small in size, but a small gingham pattern. This one actually does not have a removable cover, so do keep that in mind. And this one is 35. I love this round patio accent table and it has the shelf on the bottom. I like how on the top it is wrapped with like a rattan. I just like that added texture. And it just goes so well with so much other outdoor furniture you're gonna find. This is the wicker wrapped accent table and it is 70. This is the wicker drum patio storage accent table. So this actually comes off and there's great storage in there which is so, so nice to be able to kind of store things away. Maybe Maybe like an extra pillow or a blanket if you have like more of an enclosed patio because if you have this outside water could get in maybe for by a pool if you want to put like goggles in here or something tons of things you could keep um, citronella candles in here lots and lots and lots of things that you could do with the storage portion of this it's a hard woven resin wicker and this one is $90 and then look at this new table from threshold it is the faux wood accent table and it's a hundred dollars it's like a really cool hourglass shape and it's painted to look like a big wooden carved stump, but it's actually more of a ceramic it feels like. And then speaking of ceramic, look at this Opal House by Jungalo drum table. It's like a garden stool. You could use it as a little accent table or a stool or like a plant stand. The pattern on it is so pretty and I love the little handles. It also comes in a really beautiful green color that I'm super excited to show you as well. But there is this like red, more like warm toned option 
This is so pretty. There's actually this Opal House Jungle pillow that matches it. I love all the tassels on the side. This is so, so pretty. I love how they have the pillow that goes so perfectly because this is such an abstract pattern, but also you can just pull from any of the colors on here if you want something a little bit less busy, like if you want this to be more of like a show piece but this is stunning too. This is gonna seem really funny because this is an outdoor shop, but there are a ton of really great faux plants hidden over here that are brand new. I actually really enjoy this little moss bowl. This is $30, this is what the bowl looks like, and they're gonna seem more expensive, but these are made to last through like the sun so they're definitely meant to take a beating so you can use these inside they're not going to look like as realistic as the ones over in the home decor section but more options for those of you who love faux plants like myself so they do have this moss bowl this would look so great on a stack of books they have this variegated leaf arrangement this is also 30 both of these most of these are 30 dollars. this olive leaf arrangement these are all from threshold there's this one. This one actually does look pretty realistic. It kind of looks like they planted like the top of a pineapple in this little planter. This leafy arrangement is also only 30, so definitely like a really stark difference in size for the same price. But there are some new options and I wanted to show these to you. There are some smaller ones over here for $10. This one it comes in like the little tote pot. It is a faux philodendron. They also have this faux snake plant, but these are really, really teeny tiny. So I know the prices are gonna seem really wild, but it is just because they are made to go in the sun. Look at this little, little teeny, teeny, tiny one. This is $10. <laughs> what? They do have this faux hanging plant. This is 20. Looks a lot like the ones you find over in the threshold section. I don't know, some of these prices are pretty wild. Like this being $10, Target. Come on. The faux olive leaf tree is back for 40. They bring this back every single year. It's pretty popular. 40 is like a pretty fair price. It's exactly what you'd pay over in the home decor section. It just comes in a black pot with the moss. And then at the top has this really nice olive leafing with some faux olives. Okay, I just noticed something really weird about this. On the tag it says 40, but when you scan it, like when I scan it with my phone, it says 80. So I don't know if they like doubled the price and just like didn't remember to change the tags, but I would be bringing this to guest services if I wanted to purchase it. So just be really careful when you're purchasing things, make sure that they are scanning incorrectly. I don't know, that's a little bit weird. Studio McGee has this new faux oak tree. I really like the leaves on here. They're definitely a lot more realistic colored in real life. My camera just kind of makes everything look a little bit more green. And then the pot is like a really nice sagey color with soil in the bottom. The um, like trunk of this tree is really nice as well. This is $150. I do believe it's like five or six feet tall. It's definitely taller than me, so probably closer to six feet. Tons of leaves on each of these. For 20 from Studio McGee, I really like this faux herb dish garden. It has like a bunch of different types of flowers in there. It kind of looks like it has like rosemary and lavender, a couple different types of leaves. And I like the pot. It's like an oval shape. It's nice and heavy. That's really, really cute for 20. This is a new table and chair set from Studio McGee for 2023. So brand new Studio McGee dining set, but but it doesn't come sold together as a set. It comes sold separate. So the first being the chairs. These woven chairs are $2.50 for a two pack. They're a really pretty cool tone. They do have the black legs. And then the table on top, it's made to look like a really thick like marble or stone, but it actually feels metal. So I think it's just painted. And then it does have the same like similar black bar at the bottom. I really like this set, but the chairs are 250 and the table is 285. That's really pricey. I will say the table is a really good size. It's not like a small two person table. You could easily fit four or five chairs around. Probably I would say four comfortably because of the way the legs are so it is a good size but that is very pricey and I will say though patio furniture is just never cheap but that is steep I wish it came sold as a set how pretty is this this is the Nobleboro collection this is from threshold so there are two chairs and then there's also a separate couch as well it's like a really pretty brown color and then it has a nice charcoal cushion that's gonna hold up super well like the colors of 
of this are perfect. I really like how the base and like the hardware of the chair is kind of painted to have that wood look. So it just makes it look a lot more expensive. This does have a swivel option so you can kind of spin around in it. And then in the middle they have this fireplace. This is the threshold square gray fireplace. This is 230. The middle comes off and can be a little fire pit or you can have it as a table for a set like this. They have it styled with a couple of different outdoor pillows and these really beautiful lanterns from Smith & Hawken that are like a dark gold bronze color. Such a gorgeous set. I know I always say this, but I want to preface it again that patio furniture just doesn't come cheap. It's meant to last forever and just hold up really, really well in all the different elements. So these glider chairs, the two pack is $6.50. They do also have club chairs. So just chairs that are accent chairs that don't like glide or rotate or anything. They have a two pack of those for $5.50 that look just like these from this collection. This couch is $500 and then they do have a matching like brown wicker storage ottoman coffee table that you can get and that is $2.50 so if you want that all to completely match. So like I said not cheap but super beautiful and meant to last a super long time so I just recommend finding a set that you know you're going to love forever and really making that investment if you're going to spend a lot of time outside. These Smith & Hawken lanterns come in a bunch of different sizes. Here is the largest and the small size and then over here is the medium and the small. All different prices on these anywhere from like 100 down to 30. There are absolutely more affordable furniture options back here as well. They kind of bring back the same core items every single year. So in this video, I really wanted to focus on the new collections from the designers like Threshold Studio McGee, those types of items. But definitely let me know if you want to see the more affordable options. I kind of feel like they bring back the same stuff every year, which is why I'm not showing it today. But if you want to see it, I'm happy to show it. Now I want to get into small of like the gardening accessories. So like different pots and planters, garden markers from Smith & Hawkins Studio McGee, Opal House Junglo, like all those same brands have tons of little gardening accessories that are so, so adorable. So many beautiful new pots and planters, but the ones that immediately caught my attention are these round stone planters. They have drainage at the bottom. These are from Studio McGee. They have a smaller size for 50 and a larger size for 60. This would look really, really nice indoors. You could stick a faux plant in here or a real plant. You can get some really awesome ones at like Lowe's and Home Depot right now but I really, really love the look of it. I love the round shape and I like the lip. The color is really nice as well. 60 for the big one, like I said, and 50 for the smaller one. This is the ceramic textured outdoor planter. This is from Threshold. I like all the different facets in it and I like the color. It's a really nice khaki color. This one is $40 and it does have the drainage at the bottom. They all kind of look a little bit different. Like as you can see, this one is like a little bit darker and I feel like has a lot more depth in the glaze whereas this one's more of like a solid. Look at this one. This is from Opal House from Jungalo. This one is $40. Really, really beautiful pattern, but still in like a really neutral color. And then it does have a little bit of this like limey, pop at the top and the bottom. This next planter from Threshold actually comes in three different sizes. It's an indoor outdoor planter. It's like a grayish tan color. It's a perfect neutral. It comes in three different sizes. This is the biggest one. This one's 40, but it also comes in an eight inch size that's 30 and a four inch size that is 10. So three different sizes for this one. Again, I really like the lip. It really has that feeling I don't like, like that terracotta feeling. I'm just going to Ugh. Okay, it has drainage. I'm gonna guess that probably like all of these planters have drainage. There's tons of options. There's more colorful ones. This one is from Jungalo and it's like a really awesome like hexagonal shape. That's super fun, but also has that like curve. There's just something for everybody, honestly. If you're looking for a planter, they have a lot of really good options for every style. Here is the smaller version of the planter we were just looking at. Here's the four inch version, and then this is the eight inch version. This one's 10, this one is 30. This Jungalo planter is really nice. It honestly looks handmade. There's two sizes of this. There's a $15 size and a $30 size. There may also be a larger one. Love the shape of this. They brought back the face planters. They've had these every single year but they also have them in like animal versions this year. So they have like a dog and then this one looks like a cat. So it looks like they brought 
back like the same ones but also new versions and I really like the animal ones and here's just like a fun little unique home decor idea that you can do if you are like me you love these planters but you're not like a gardening gal some of these smaller planters can be used as utensil crocs my utensil croc in my kitchen is actually a planter it doesn't have to be used as a planter let me show you some of the ones I think would work really well this one from threshold I think would work really well it is super deep kind of gets a little bit tapered at the bottom which I think would work really well for holding all the different utensils in a kitchen and how gorgeous is that normally you don't find utensil crocs of this shape but you can definitely use this as that this black one would be perfect as well it does kind of get a little bit bigger at the top so if you have tons of utensils this could be great they do have a smaller version right here as well so if you just like to keep a couple utensils this one might be a better option but these are the same texture it just comes in dark gray and white but this one would be so fun look at the texture on there everyone's gonna be asking you where you got your utensil crop. This medium sized cherry pink threshold one would be great as well. This has a cool design on the front. Also this one that's more sculptural that's like shaped like a face. This is like a medium size. That would be awesome as a utensil crock. Just get creative. That one would be perfect. This Opal House Jungle one that has that really cool shape that I liked. That one would be really fun as a utensil crock. Seriously, any of these medium sized pots. These solar pathway lights are really, really nice. They're in a brass color. They are from Smith & Hawken. These are beautiful. We really need something outside like this for our entryway, like walkway. We'd probably need one pack on each side. These are $40. These plant stands are really nice. They have two different sizes, the eight inch and the 16. This one is 35 and this one is 25. I like the black legs with like the woven top. That's super nice. Smith & Hawken just has such a beautiful collection this year. They have these matte black gardening tools. Everything you can need, these are all sold separate and $10 a piece. For 25, they have this three piece set that has this gorgeous green and yellow floral pattern. It comes with the snipper, the trowel and the fork. They do have matching gloves to go with that, like long armed gloves, those are $12. They also have the shorter ones in a really nice floral pattern, those are 10. They also have a striped pattern. It's just really fun to see all this stuff. Even though I'm not into gardening, I really like looking at all of this. They also have these green gardening rain boots. I love the green color. It's like a bright, fresh green. These are $30. They'll definitely have way more sizes online, but my store carries size seven, eight, and nine. These outdoor metal signs are beautiful. This one's definitely my favorite. It is white with gold and it says pets present. Really good to put at any like entrances or exits so that people know that there are pets just so that they don't get left out or if they have an issue with dogs just to give them them, like fair warning then they also have this one that is white with green that says our garden just kind of has an arrow pointing and then this nice like placard one that says welcome outdoors could be fun if you have like a really fun like pool area or outdoor area just to kind of add a little bit of wall decor and these will hold up really great against the elements and all three of these are $15 many beautiful watering cans and misters this one is from Smith & Hawken this is $10 just a little plant mister feels like really good quality and then there are these two copper watering cans. They are each $20, different shapes completely. They both kind of have that gooseneck. Then this one's a little bit more plain. And this one has the ribbing down the side. So, so pretty. I love the oil rub bronze color. If you want one that's a little bit more utility, there's this gray one. It does have that copper spout at the end. There's a top handle and a side handle. This one is super large. It holds like at least a gallon of water. This one's 25. They have a few different herb marker sets and like gardening stakes. Look how adorable these are to kind of stick in your pots. They have like a snail one, a mushroom, and then a little gnome. And these are all a really pretty brass color. They have this bronzy flower garden steak. And this brass gardening steak set is gorgeous. Basil, sage, oregano, and mint. Oh, I wish I had more of a green thumb or I guess even more of a yard to do stuff like this. This gorgeous brass set is only 10, which I think is an absolute steal. Each of these garden markers are also 10, the snail, the gnome, and the mushroom, as well as this copper flower. And then for 15 for this herb marker set, because you do get six different herb markers, you have like mint, parsley, sage, rosemary, the big ones. They've also put out the outdoor rugs and I have to go check them out because I'm obsessed with outdoor rugs. It's the easiest way to transform a space. They're super durable and Studio McGee always has some really nice ones. So let's see what's over here. There are so many beautiful jute rugs. This is just like a natural braided diamond pattern. 
it's always better to kind of look at the bigger picture on here to kind of see what it's actually going to look like comes in a bunch of different sizes right here is seven by ten also five by seven you can also get two by three the two by three sizes you're gonna find down here and those are perfect to go underneath a welcome mat it's such a nice way to add more character onto your front porch they have this two by three version right here that is twenty dollars I like this brown and black outdoor rug this is by Smith and Hawkin this is an eight by ten so they have like really large sizes this one was 120 from threshold the Smith and Hawkin that's eight by ten is 180 that's a really good price for an outdoor rug they do also have some round rugs this one is from threshold this is a rug that they had last year it was super super popular it's an ivory braided jute rug but they brought it back in a round version and this one is 60 I'm sure they also have the rectangle online too diamond pattern rugs look to be really popular this year this is the bigger version of the two by three we were just looking at this is from threshold this is a five by seven this one is sixty dollars so they just kind of have them all laid out by size and all the different patterns and each one has a picture but i always recommend pulling them up on your phone too to kind of get an even better look at exactly what it's going to look like this one has a really pretty pattern it's another diamond pattern very popular this year this one has like charcoal grays browns and ivories so tons of neutrals if you're like katie i don't like neutrals threshold also has this really pretty palm leaf print this has lots of like blues tons of different shades of greens and teals teals have been really really popular so they also have this palm leaf pattern too if you are more into the blues that have been really popular this year threshold has this again diamond pattern that actually also has like brown stripes so it's like alternating diamonds and brown stripes and it also has some nice tasseling that's a really pretty blue color these jute rugs can be used indoors and outdoors i have a jute rug in my living room and it is extremely durable so if you have like pets kids it's one of those ones that is pretty durable and really good to have inside they do shed a little bit so keep that in mind they do shed a little bit in the beginning nothing crazy but just wanted to give that warning so some of these can actually be used indoors as well you can do whatever you want with any of these things just because they're in an outdoor shop it doesn't mean you can't use them inside i think that about covers it just a huge overview of this spring outdoor shop if there's anything you want me to show more specifically definitely be sure to let me know down below i have everything linked down below it's so fun to see these items i know it's not spring where a lot of you guys are but hopefully this will get you in the spirit maybe give you that little like boost of serotonin that you need to help get you through these rough winter months well alrighty, you guys there you have it a huge overview of the 2023 outdoor spring shop at target be sure to let me know what are all of your thoughts down below are you excited to see this stuff is it too soon for you did it give you a little boost of serotonin i want to hear all of your thoughts down below i think the outdoor shop is really great this year i'm excited to see all of the summer things that they'll integrate in over the next few months but i am really excited to be looking at spring stuff i just i don't know i can't, i still can't even believe it's 2023 i just feel like time is absolutely flying by if you enjoyed this video and you haven't yet be sure to give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell thank you guys so much for shopping with me today and every day i love you so so, so much and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.